The following contest is for the WAW Team Championship and will be decided under double elimination match rules. This is where both competitors of a team have to be eliminated for the team to be eliminated. Entry first, the WAW Team Champions. Captain Vincent Zara and Major Morpheus Morenzi, Full Metal Jacket! And here is your six time WAW Champions, Team Champions, Full Metal Jacket, Captain Vincent Zarello. And Major Morpheus Morenci. The question is, there's teams from past, there's teams from present. Who will accept the open challenge? Let it be known. That we issued an open challenge to anybody that's anybody in the team division. Let it be known that obviously F off it was going to accept. So by all means, hit F off's music. Well, it was obvious these guys were accepting. Full Metal Jacket knew it was going to happen. He put an open challenge out. How can the two most egotistical men in WAW history not accept an open challenge for titles? And the fans love F.O. For some odd reason. Freaking Flex actually looks like he has some new gear. FO sporting the afloat the FO hat with the FO shirt. I'll take that hat. Wow, FMJ and F off in another, another title match, go figure. So if there's anybody, anybody, as long as there's two of you, want to come out and challenge the greatest team, by all means, go for it. Anybody, come on. Nobody? Actually, it just... Wait a minute, wait one second. It's the Dirty Dealer and Joey Staples. Joey Staples is back in WAW. And he got something to say. You know, payback. We're the defending champs going into X of last year. But uh, unfortunately, I uh, injured myself very badly. And we had to drop the titles. And these scumbags back here took the advantage, took the belts back. But you know what? That's the past. We're going to put the past behind us because tonight, Tonight is about redemption. It's about revenge. It's about payback. 
So wait a minute. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Joey Staples and Dirty Dealer are back as payback. The former team champions last year were supposed to be in the greatest team champion match of all time. And Captain Vincent Zarello is doing the smart. Wait. Captain, wait. What you? Oh, they. Now you're fucking with Staples, but. Two people in the ring at a time. You gotta get a double elimination. You gotta eliminate both members. Joey Staples wants a piece of Captain Vincent Zarello. First time you've seen Joey Staples in the ring in almost a year since he hurt himself and broke his hip last year. And he looks better than ever. My former commentating partner. And FO and freaking Flags backing off. They won't want to get Vincent Zarello in this. So we got Staples tying up. Wait a minute, no. We got a small great oh one, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Wait. That was two, I guess. Wait a minute, Captain Vincent Zarello almost gets pinned. He thought he got pinned, he was excited. And we got a schoolboy. One, two, three. Captain Vincent Zarello. Now that's a schoolboy right there, and he gets pinned. One member of Full Metal Jacket gets pinned by the returning Joey Staples. Captain Vincent Zarello can't believe it. He's asking the wrong people's opinion. Too depressing. It went out. I mean, I'm all alone. I mean, Vincent Zarello actually gets eliminated. Captain Vincent Zarello. Major Morpheus Morenzi in the corner. I mean, it's going to be Major Morpheus Morenzi challenging payback and F off for the team titles. So we got one half of Full Metal Jacket, who was gone just like that. So think about this right now. We got Major Morpheus Morenzi alone in the ring. Captain Vincent Zarello is back. You got the GOAT, you got F off, you got the old man dirty dealer. And the returning Joey Staples, my former commentating partner. With a big belly to back suplex on the GOAT. This right here could have been last year. It was supposed to be FMJ. It was supposed to be Asylum and Payback. It was supposed to be Total Chaos. Joey Staples got injured. Dirty Dealer entered and won the Battle Royal. That might explain why he was not in it tonight. This is a huge surprise for me seeing Joey Staples back. And he seems better than ever. He seems to have no problems going up and under. Oh, wait. Reverses. No. Go. Up. And oh, wow. Right there. No, he's reversing the arm drag. Oh, wait. Throws the goat over. Oh, wait. The goat spinning around with a hurricane. Leg scissors right there. And the Dirty Dealer, first time in the team division in a long time with his old partner, stretching his old bones. The GOAT wants to try to test his strength in the former first time WAW champion. I mean, not to see him on camera, he is a big man in high end width. Oh, wait a minute, we gotta test his strength on the GOAT. Oh, wait a minute, the GOAT is actually outpowering the Dirty Dealer. But don't let looks deceive you. The Dirty Dealer is a big man, and he also is a strong man. And there we go, taking down the GOAT. Dirty Dealer, first time for a team title. I mean, he's a former team champion, a former WAW champion himself. 
and go the go trying to oh, wait up and over to the dirty dealer, almost getting himself caught, reversing into an arm breaker. Oh, he stepped on his toe. Dirty dealer was gonna do the flip. Oh, he heard the go coming. He stopped for a second. Dirty dealer's ring rust. Wait a minute. F.O. Good friends with the Dirty Dealer. Doesn't want nothing to do. Oh, throws him off the top. Doesn't want to get in the ring with his former manager, Mentor. Major Morpheus Morenzi. Oh, wait a minute. Tags himself in against the Dirty Dealer. So you got the Dirty Dealer versus Major Morpheus Morenzi. I have a feeling the Major Morpheus might take it a little bit harder on the former... Oh, wow. The... Strong man throwing him down. Wow. I think Dealer might take it a little bit harder on Moops than the GOAT because they're not friends. There's no love lost. Oh, wait. He makes the 11. He tags Joey Staples. And Joey Staples in the ring. These two have had some epic battles. And oh, a big clothesline by Joey Staples to Major Morpheus Morenzi. Oh. oh, up and down. Payback doing a little teamwork right there. We got to pin the ref. One, two, and Major Morpheus kicks out. That might have actually been the dirty dealer distracting the referee right there. I mean, everyone in this ring has been team champion one time or the other. Only Full Metal Jacket has held it six times. And now it's only one half. And wait a minute, reverse. Oh, goes for the cutter. Reversal, no. Morph. Oh, wow. Major Morpheus Morenzi. One of the biggest lariats in the game. One, two. The mass referee with a two count. And that is a big stalling suplex right there. We got a pin. One, two, and no, Joey Staples kicks out again. And we got the Indian Deathlock locked in on Staples. Where, of course, Major Morphin's branching, tugging the leg and hip of the once injuring, injured Joey Staples. And oh, he got it fully locked in. That's got to hurt. He can make a tag to either F off or his partner, the Dirty Dealer, or he can get to the ropes, whatever is closer. This is got to be excruciating for the man with pins in his leg. And wait, oh, he got the pin. He got the ropes. <laughs> Joey Staples trying to get to his partner, but oh wow, what an insiguri right there. Dirty Dealer trying to get the crowd going, trying to get people excited, and Dirty Dealer's in. The Dirty, wait a minute, F off, trying to get in the ring, I don't know why, but they're in, they're trying to get out. A clothesline by the dealer, another clothesline by the dealer, the head trick clothesline by the dealer. Oh, an eye rake, oh, an eye rake. Wait a minute, oh, an eye rake to Major Morpheus Barrett's. Oh, wait, the goat's up, the goat's down, dirty drop. Wait a minute, oh, a dirty drop to F.O. Major Morpheus, oh wait, no, not a dirty drop. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the meltdown on the big man, the Dirty Dealer. One, two, three. Oh, Dirty Dealer's been eliminated. <laughs> dirty Dealer has been eliminated. That means we have Major Morpheus Morenzi with Full Metal Jacket and Joey Staples representing Payback. And of course, we have both members of F Off. Now the Dirty Dealer is in, and the Dirty Dealer goes home. He oh, it wasn't bad, Roy. Of course, you left longer. And Major Morpheus Morenzi, one of the biggest men, of course, once again, bringing home the Strongman Award for WAW at the award show last night. And F.O. exchanging rights and lefts into the solar plexus of M M to the third power. Up! Over! Oh, wow, almost all the way over. Oh, wow, F.O. bringing him all the way in. Oh, no, wait, he reverses it. Of course, Major Morpheus Morenzi knows that. 
and he jumps down. There's the tagless rule in effect, but oh wait, no, he's up. Oh, a dollhouse right on the outside. Fo. Oh wait, he's going for a second one. Oh, he dollhouses him into the brick wall. And while well, Major Morpheus Morenti is in, and of course the referee isn't counting anymore because freaking Flax is observing the rule of the tagless rule in WAW coming right behind Major Morpheus Morenti with a double-handed bulldog. We got a pin one, two, and we got a kick out right there. We got we got two members of F off in. I mean the referee got to, they got to get out before ten or they DQ'd, but they're off. They're down. He's over. Up. Down. Not sure who's legal, but... Oh, big leg drop. We got a pin. One, two, and Major Morpheus kicks out after the leg drop. The only reason he kicked out is no one hit him with a big boot. If he hit him with a big boot followed by the leg drop, match would have been over. Guaranteed. Happens every time. So Major Morpheus Morenci, the six-time WAW champion, the Annihilation Champion winner, a two-time Breakthrough Lumberyard winner in Major Morpheus Morenci. The only thing that's ever eluded Major Morpheus Morenci is the WAW one, two, and oh, Major Morpheus Morenci kicks out like I was saying. The only thing that's ever eluded Major Morpheus Morenci has been the WAW Championship. But he's never really went after that. Him and Full Metal Jacket are the greatest team and most successful team the WAW has and will ever see. And F off is picking him apart. Left by right. And there's the cross the streams. And Major Morpheus Morenci showing why he is strong, man. Taking them both out. They duck the double clothesline. Up a Manhattan. And oh, a big standing sidekick. Who's legal? I'm not sure. One. Two, and Major Morpheus Morenci again holding, carrying the weight of Vincent Zarello, who I can only speculate is still in pain from uh, Hellbound with that um, battlefield match. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, a big boot the Major Mor from Major Morpheus to the GOAT. And Joey Staples, oh, another one, Joey Staples, though. Oh, wow, the player hater boot. Oh, you heard that all the way in the back of the arena. And wait, he might be going up for it. It is. It's the free fall. It's over. That's, that's one. No. 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 The player hater's boot followed by the free fall. Full Metal Jacket has been eliminated. Oh, this is only going to throw more fuel onto the fire about payback should have been at the anniversary show last year and could have been claimed the greatest team champions of all time. Major Morpheus Morenz, he did everything he could to retain his six-time WAW champion. But when you're a man down and fighting someone as good, as powerful, as strong as Joey Staples, all you can do is hear that the clock run out of time and the hourglass drop down to the last grain of sand. Oh, wait. So right now we got a full team of F off versus the returning, the rejuvenized Joey Staples in a back shot. Wait a minute. Oh, a flip through. One, two. What happened? Go talk to Captain. I'm not sure what happened, Major Morpheus Morenci. Where's he? So we had one member of Payback versus both members of F off in the ring. Whoever walks out of here now, Payback could be a three-time team champion. Or F off can walk away a three-time team champion. They're trying to cross the streams on Joey Staples. Oh, they're doing a little dance getting down tonight. Oh, a Saturday Night Fever for Joey Staples. We go one, two, and oh no, wait a minute. Joey Staples once again kicks out. Joey Staples, there's not an inch of ring rust, not an ounce, a speck, a micro speck of ring rust on the ring warrior, Joey Staples. I mean, it would be great to have him back at this table, but it's even better. 
Oh, it's even better to see the gangsta back in the ring. Oh, wow. Double. Almost. Oh, no. Wow. Almost landed on his feet. That's right there. Obviously, that's from the hip. He's had hip surgery. That's from giving out to him. But fast recovery right there doing a double clothesline to F off. And then got till 10 to get out. The question is, can Full Metal Jacket retain the titles without even being in the match? Now that would be something for the board of the directors to decide if a time limit hits on this match or if all three members get counted down. Or I should say the legal man and Joey Staples. Oh, we got a pin. One, two, and the mass referee only gets down to two. Joey Staples, he said before, he has the utmost respect for all the members of F Off. He has the utmost respect for his firm and team member, current team member as of tonight, the Dirty Dealer. But he has absolutely no respect, no love loss, and he absolutely loathes Full Metal Jacket for what they did to him last year. Oh wait, F.O. coming in. These guys might respect, they might be friends, but they want the one thing everyone wants, and that's gold around their waist. And a double suplex, wait a minute, no. A double slingshot. Oh, again, Joey Staples' hit might be giving out on him a little bit, but no, they reversed the double clothesline. Oh, wait a minute, no. Double rock product reversal. Oh, wow, a double complete shot into the turn post. And remember, after this, folks, we got Rocco, our WAW champion, taking on the returning five-time WAW champion, Gino Diomedes. And wait a minute, what? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, double cannonball to F.O. And freaking Flax getting squashed by the massive uh, behind of Joey Staples. It's like a car wreck. It's pandemonium. It's like a 747 just crash landing in a field somewhere. It's carnage. It's bodies everywhere. And Joey Staples is the first one to his feet. And wait, he's getting his... Oh, oh no, I thought his salad was getting tossed. Joey Staples sits down. One, two, three. Joey Staples eliminates freaking Flax with that massive posterior. So now it comes down to Joey Staples, the Bulletproof One, versus Mr. W.A.W. It's a massive posterior. So as the result of this match, one thing is sure. You will have new W.A.W. champions. The only thing that we're unsure about, will it be payback? Or will it be F off? We got a headlock on the ground right here. Joey Staples trying to bring himself to a vertical base. That's where F.O. does not want Joey Staples. Matter of fact, F.O. has probably got to be worried about him on the ground in the air. Standing up, it doesn't matter. Back alley out here by Mike's Pup and Grub. Joey Staples is vicious anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he tries to go. Catches him with a roll up. One, two, kicks out. F.O. off the ropes, up on his shoulders. Victory roll right there. One, two, victory roll reversal. One, two, oh, right back into it. One, two, he, oh, he gets the pin. Need the official word. F off. F.O. and freaking flex. Becoming three-time WAW champions. F well, here's freaking Flax. He's back. He's excited. Joey Staples, it was a valiant effort for the returning Bulletproof one. It was a great match. It was a suspense match. Good to have Joey Staples back here in WAW. But the question is, with all the gold that's left the Dynasty's camp, is this truly the end? You see cracks in the foundation of the greatest team, greatest alliance in WAW history? Oh, 
F off, former team champion, now current three time with FO, former champion with big, big top players with Puma. I'll give it the credit, that was a tremendous match. Three time WAW champion.